guys hey, hey tonight's episode is about to be the bomb hey wow we are still talking of the one that happened yesterday night these people want to they want to choke us with them um, with back-to-back basbozo we asked for it and they are giving us double multi-choice so now do this one oh hey babies how are you all doing welcome back guys it's tgif baby are you outside or inside any which way just make sure you stay safe welcome Come back to say with me, just see me where you get the gist as it is hot. Are you yet subscribed to this channel or is this sitting on a fat long thing? Kindly do the needful. Thank you, guys. I'm actually in a haze because I want to drop this before it because it's almost reunion o'clock, guys. Hmm, anyways, a lot is actually brewing on this on the social street, like. YouTube is actually giving me delay. I do not know. It is make it's giving me low vibe. Like I have a lot of gist I wanted to gist with you guys, but YouTube, oh my goodness. Anyways, guys, let me just rush this because I have to discuss this before we see the reunion tonight. Anyways, this particular episode is groovy and Fina. Beauty and um, Fina is trying to say that um she felt remorse about um you know the beauty thing in Fina and beauty thing in and that also that she wants her plan was to meet Fina and Beauty outside to apologize that she said it and then Groovy was like I don't know why she said that she cannot remember Groovy said he cannot remember Fina saying that um that she would apologize to Beauty because by the way she was the one that kissed him first. I don't love Taya. Like netizens are actually on Fina's case today. Oh my goodness, be with Fina. Me, we're talking about Fina. That girl know the hear word. Watch this video to the very end so that you see what Fina did. Okay, Kali said you lot are going to defend today. Hmm. Anyways, I think the fans are ready. Okay, Oracle said tonight on BB Niger reunion, things go must occur. It is Fina and Groovy Saga in the house that takes center stage on the talks round table. You bet beauty's name must be up there too. Sincerely, you see this Fina, Beauty, and Groovy. It is one of the men's show. It's not one of the men's show. In fact, it's actually the men's show of Big Brother Niger level up. Because if you're not talking about Groovy, Fina, and Beauty, what are you not talking about? So tonight is going to be the night. Meanwhile, this multi choice, they know what they are doing. They actually put this episode on a Friday because they want to give us long throats till Monday that will get to S. They will add the next one. Anyways, congratulations is pouring in for Maria Chike Benjamin as baby girl. Is expecting bon boy or bon girl. Anyways, congratulations, baby girl. She's expecting a child with her boyfriend. Yes, actually boyfriend because they are not married. We all know the bro her around her relationship, but that's not why we're here. Congratulations to you, beautiful Maria. Of course, you're about to bring the, to the world a beautiful creature because you are a pretty girl. And of course, that man will give you the thing. is actually handsome. The guy is fine. I'm not going to lie. Kevin is a handsome guy. So, congratulations has been pouring in for her with a picture that is almost transparent that she used in announcing this news. I could not post that picture here. It gets why okay guys before we continue since i just talked about maria let's go back to the older colleagues of um the housemates it may seem as though fina um i say fina oh my goodness you will and if we're neda are about to enter back to field as we got to see this you record that if we're and said if we're and i am a real nice person honestly but you really think you are slick i am giving you till 8 p.m thank you and then she said Okay, if I and I say, my God will fight for me. All I do here is work. Is work hard and mind my business. But I know the truth will prevail in the end. God sees my heart. I am not a bad person. You rel on the other end say, cool, just know I can talk for... I can talk. I am from South London. And if I had said, I have been off social media and silent for some time now because I have been trying my best to fix this. But if you want to bring it to social media, no problem. Ask about me. I am a warrior. I was built for this. Nothing can bring me down. God is with me. So it's given what is happening between the two. It's given I am owing and I have not paid. But it's 8 p.m. already, and we are yet to hear from Uriel. Let's see how that goes. Anyways, the Aproko doctor is yet to gist you guys. <laughs> no, guys, I'm not Aproko. I'm actually gisting with my friends, right? Right? Okay. So, guys, talking about the Big Brother Niger level of housemate, Adekule felt emotional today because of one of his fans. Actually, I don't know whether he's a fan, though, but it's the netizens. Actually, you know, 
tweeted about him being misunderstood a whole lot and he got emotional and he, he got him teary as he wrote this he said i just read a thread about me that brought tears to my eyes i am not perfect and i do have my flaws and i am learning to be to better manage and understand them with each passing day i have lived a better part of my adult life having to navigate life being misunderstood and for as long as i can remember that has been my reality my shortcoming is simple i am terrible at communicating and expressing due to life experience but i am working on it and getting better knowing that there are lots okay knowing that there are people out there who don't know me personally but understand me just by observing me it is a completely overwhelming feeling i can't explain how much this means to me i am not a wicked person i am not envious i am not malicious i don't tell lies and i genuinely wish everyone the best things in life we live to learn every day thank you all for not giving up on me you may not know this but i draw strength inspiration and the zeal to go on from your love steady support for me thank you thank you god bless you now when you go through this tweet you would know why dekule is actually saying he's not this he's not that because of the shakes and uh, him and shakes issue that happened in the reunion that people were always you know every every hand was pointing at adekule saying that adekule is malicious that he's deceptive and all that i personally i said he was not spilling the truth but he has told us that he has not lied okay if he said he does not lie now he does not lie abi he said it himself no problem okay so guys people have actually reacted to adekule's tweet let's just read few of the tweets we read this a second one and then we're off okay we see you adekule we see who you really are and we love you for that one thing i know for sure is that you are a loyal person and you go hard for your people don't ever lose that inner you for anything your imperfection makes you human adekule but you know what we you know what we love you flaws included i am happy you are learning to better manage your flaws you are beautiful human in and out and it takes a beautiful heart to know you you are loved and cherished so the fans have um the adekule fans have been coming for him of course we all know that no matter how hard this house made them claim to be guys it is not easy on the social street i think we should be coming down on this house because right now i feel pity for all of them like all of them that you people are giving buzzwords right now especially fina forget all this her mouth but uh, guys 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 okay i have always believed in you and your dreams i have not stopped praying for you you are still the best in all keep your heads high and keep doing you god is with you oh wow you just got me emotional they could lay your imperfection are not signs that you are weak but they are signs that you are human and you will keep working on yourself to be the better version of you keep your head up high because you are a red gem okay so guys um based on this fina ish with the multi choice and everything like people are, are saying that she's calling multi choice out and all that right someone has something to say and what do you think about what fear says she said dear bb niger fans hope you all know multi choice is no is more than your big brother niger propaganda multi choice are the owner of the entertainment industry when they boycotted efe his music was not aired in any dstv or go tv channels or invited to any multi choice event why this person actually tweeted it is because people that are clamoring for fina to continue with what she is doing that they should reason it though because baby girl is into is she's in the entertainment industry full full and if they want to be seeing a lot of her in the movie industry they need to be coming down your fave wants to belong in the entertainment industry then you all are not ready amvca award both big and small actors and actresses look forward to it if they buy cuts the movies of your fave producer will also do the same thing because they want their movies out there multi choice okay this person said multi choice can't do anything now if it gets ready to sell to the pub now if you not get ready to sell to the public anyways i i, I think i understand what fears is trying to say right now what fears is trying to say this is if you know your your faith is actually going through the line of entertainment you should not ad advise your faith to be talking down on multi-choice and i think this person is making sense right here what do you think about this notion guys let me know in the comment section and she furthermore said really you all think multi-choice is only for nigerian citizens they are in all african countries those movies launch in south africa they invite bimbo Kule, Erika and Co. It is actually done by multi choice, all expense paid trip and events too. Go read more before you cap. I dare multi choice to buy cause big brother show. Let me see 
let me see they can boycott individual not fans because they even love the toxicity and they are happy for their bb fans cha, because the fans give the show rat rattling anyways i think people misunderstood what this lady is trying to say she's actually spitting the facts right multi choice now him be the baba no matter how you try to do it will actually affect your faith in that line except your faith is a business person that doesn't want to you know go into entertainment industry okay bb niger reunion says the show is bigger than anyone i understand it i understand it might not be fair enough to some housemates and their fans but it is a reality tv game show don't expect moisty choice to react to fina's rant of course there is no how multi choice will react to fina's rant it is not possible see talking about fina guys hmm, i told you guys that fina know they hear what do we all know that the bruhaha that has been happening on the social space is because of Fina, right? Oh God, my goodness. Guys, you will not believe. Oh my goodness, I am just laughing. Fina actually CD did an audio. Guys, Fina did an audio. She started recording and still repeated what she said in the reunion ground. Like, guys, is this not, is Fina not taking this thing overboard? I know she might be hurt. I know she, her feelings is a bit, you know, hot here. But she is really taking it overboard, guys. She still repeated the same thing in an audio call, audio voice note. She said that Chichi left her husband and children in Benin, went to Abuja, started stripping club. They took her where she did liposuction. From there, she traveled outside of the country. Now, I had to, had to, you know, do something to her friend. There's a gist that happened. She said Chichi, Chichi actually, you know, poisoned her friend. Fina actually spilled all of this. Guys! Oh my goodness. They repeat Fina, but Fina, they do another thing. Like me now, I don't even know what to say anymore. Whoever know Fina or is close to her should better go and talk to her. She need a good advisor right now. It's because things said in your emotion, in your feelings, can actually haunt you later. She actually did audio for something that she's claiming that um Chichi but her own was not recorded. She now still repeated the same thing again. Like she keep on saying it that Chichi left her kids. She went to, guys, it was just a lot. It was just a lot. Meanwhile, Bella got everybody worried as she tweeted all jokes until someone commits <clears throat> you all need to know when to draw the line and stop bye bella actually dropped this because even some people have been coming for bella because of fina and all that but guys i am just tired right now these housemates are going through a lot i think it is our time we just take it little on them you know we all know that it was a reality show we watched and we all know how you react to all those things but guys these housemates are going through a lot see what bella just tweeted right now and it got people scary please oh, let's be careful emotions are really high Anyways, you know, people have also talking about people coming for um, Big Brother Niger housemates. Hermes is one housemate that people have been coming for. Why is that? Because of Hermes was laughing during the reunion when Fina was, you know, giving Chichi the buzz Now, Hermes have come out to say that the reason why he was actually laughing was because of the the shit Fina was peeling that because she knows that he knows that what Fina was peeling was impossible because that period when a picture came out about Chichi being with a man, right? That they said that it was her husband. That she said it was her uh, said during um beauty's party. He actually asked um Chichi a question and asked Chichi that are you not seeing all those things they are talking about you? What do you have to say about it? And Chichi had to told him that that person was her uncle. Then Hermes asked Chichi, why don't you want to change the narrative? Of what people are carrying out there so that they would know that that person is your uncle why not put, why not your uncle putting a disclaimer then chichi was like no it will cost more it will cost more harm than good one more, more harm than good something like that so Hermes said that him laughing was because of actually he knows the truth and all fina was saying was black uh, you know bladder dash you understand that all Fina was saying was wrong. So that was why he was laughing. And for people that was coming for his mom, he felt so emotional there. That people was coming for his mom that has dementia. That if that's the best thing they can do, then it is all love and peace from his end. So guys, I say again, we should take it easy on those housemates, okay? Take it easy on them. Sometimes we misunderstood them and then we start ranting. Please and please. Mental health is at stake here or oh, beg or oh, they are human being like us. Joe, please, Obiko. Oh, hmm. Rene Zion said, that's why I call you King Hermes, because I know you will never laugh at such things if it was true. The nonsense she was spilling was indeed laughable of her stupidity. Good you clear this out. Meanwhile, Elo Swag and them, <laughs> Khalid, are out here laughing. I don't understand these people. Khalid, for the first time I'm seeing him 
all over the place on the social space as he said heads up guys because of today he said the way fans are going to defend their faith that was a video of his a uh, i don't know the kind of spider-man that is that one and hello swag replied housemate go see shege i think say on strong or more it is not funny anymore i said the social street is actually hot so that is a joke <laughs> your faith is going through a lot right now you can send all the love and light to them let me talk a bit about my baby titan kids anyways guys it is a thing of podcast for miracle op and marvin remember i once told you guys right i told you guys that miracle op and marvin said podcast is coming up and guys they said miracle op actually posted it and said that it will be coming up tonight okay and i'm so sorry i've not been updating you guys about the baby titan house but don't worry i am coming okay everything choke and i am also busy right but don't worry i'll make it up to you guys every gist will be told i will tell you guys everything nothing will be left untold okay so Miracle had posted it, so we are awaiting the podcast. We all know these two people. They are two blunt persons that would actually shake the baby titan street. So, get ready for their podcast. As Miracle said, talk your talk, guys. Episode episode dropping tonight on YouTube. It's got spicy. So, if you know you're not following Miracle OP on YouTube, oh yeah, run now and go and follow him because he's about to get dirty. Don't say me, just say me, me did not tell you. In as much as I'm having my tight schedule, I still try my best to give you guys the gist as it hurts. So, guys, this is where I'm stopping right here. People have been coming for Blue Ever, they've been making mockery of her. Why is that? It's because of in a in a Twitter in a Twitter space where they have catch up with Yemi Craigs, they found according to netizens, so they found Blue Ever there. And they were like, she got blocked. So they've been making fun of her that they blocked Blue Ever from, you know, a space that has to do with EME. So guys, I don't know why, <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. I don't know why people, you are coming for this baby girl right here. As you can see, if you watch this very well, you will see blocks there. You will still catch up with Yemi Craigs. So people are saying it was um the Twitter space. You know, Yemi Craigs held Twitter space yesterday. So people are saying it's from that Twitter space that she was found, you know, among the people that were, they were listing us and they had to block her. So who block her? Is it Yemi Craig or one of the co-hosts? Baby girl do not know. I do not know. But netizens have been mocking her and they've been using this word. They said that um she's always saying I don't chase and attract. They were not saying, Oh, they have blocked I don't chase and I attract. So you know they've been making mockery of her. Anyways, guys, you should be taking coming down all like for all i know is that yemi Craig and blue ever are cool if i thought there was a block as seen here it may be one of the co-hosts that did it and i don't know for any reason but it may be okay so guys please 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 and i don't even think it was that um that twitter space of yemi i don't think so but if it is just know that it is actually one of the co-hosts yemi Craig and blue ever are actually cool so i don't think yemi will block blue ever so guys right now i have to stop here because the reunion is almost that time okay i will see you guys after the reunion there are lots of gist spending we'll discuss them bit by bit okay just stay tuned i love you guys so much you know that right bye bye